Welcome to Electron Online and in this video we're going to show you the relationship between a conductor carrying current and the potential difference between any two points on that conductor. And we're going to do it in two ways. One way we're going to show you the analogy to Ohm's law and the second one we're going to use the definition of the resistivity which is equal to the ratio of the strength of the electric field applied to the conductor divided by the current density. All right, first what we're going to do is we're going to see that we can express this in terms of the resistivity and if we change this equation we can say that the resistivity is equal to the resistance times the cross-sectional area divided by the length of the piece of wire in consideration. Okay, now we can set those two equations equal to each other so we can say that the electric field strength divided by the current density is equal to the resistance times the cross-section area divided by the length of wire. And then we also realize that there's a relationship between the electric field strength and the potential difference across that length of wire. We know that, the, uh, that we can express electric field strength in terms of the potential difference divided by the distance between them. And in this case, that would be equal, <coughs> excuse me, the potential difference divided by the length of the wire. So we can replace E by that and see what we get. So we can write V divided by L times the current density is equal to the resistance times the cross-section area divided by the length. And right away we can see that the lengths cancel out. Next thing we can do here is we can say, well, the current density can be expressed in terms of the current divided by unit area. So we can say that, or cross-sectional area, so V divided by the current divided by the cross-sectional area is equal to R times A. And then we can rewrite this, we putting this in the numerator. So the potential difference times the cross-sectional area divided by the current is equal to the resistance times the cross-sectional area. And then you can see that the cross-sectional areas cancel out. And when we put I over there, finally we can say that V is equal to I times R. And that of course is Ohm's law, and we knew that already. Right? So here you can see by taking the definitions of resistivity, and how to find the resistance in terms, of, in terms of resistivity and combining them we can show that the potential difference across any piece of wire is simply equal to I times R. Now if we want to do it in terms of the, a piece of length of the wire this equation of course doesn't help us but what we can do instead is we can take this equation right here come over here and write it as E the electric field strength is equal to the product of the resistivity times the current density. And then of course we know that the electric field can be written in terms of the voltage divided by the distance is equal to the resistivity times the current density. And of course in this case the distance would be the length of the wire under consideration. So the potential difference divided by the length is equal to the resistivity times the current density. Now I can put L on the other side because this really gives us potential difference per unit length, so I can put L on the other side and can write J, the current density, in terms of current over unit area. So finally we can say that the potential difference between any two pieces on a conducting wire is equal to the resistivity times the current per unit length, oh, I'm sorry, the current per, um, per um, cross-sectional area, and then L comes up here, times the length of the wire. And this would be a very practical way in which we can calculate the potential difference between any two pieces or any two points on a current carrying conductor because we'll know the resistivity of the metal, we'll know how much current will be flowing through the conductor, we'll calculate the cross-sectional area, and we'll take the length under consideration, and that will tell us the potential difference across it. In the next video, we'll do an example of how to calculate the potential difference across a current carrying conductor using this equation right here. And that's how we do that.